Camp Manitowish YMCA has been providing a premier experience for over 90 years. It's a place where people gain independence, a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them, and memories that last a lifetime. It's a place of learning, of caring, growth, and sharing. With a well-trained staff, dedicated to providing outstanding experiences for every participant. Camp Manitowish YMCA is accredited by the American Camp Association, a community of camp professionals who set standards to ensure high quality camp and outdoor programs. Camp Manitowish started with founder Walter Daddy Wones in 1919 in Boulder Junction, Wisconsin. The philosophy of camp was based on his belief that the wilderness of northern Wisconsin offered a more in-depth experience and challenge for campers. It was a place where kids could experience a quiet, star-filled night, observe wildlife, and paddle through beautiful lakes, rivers, and streams. It's a trip back to what's important in life, a reconnection with positive life values, and an emphasis on personal and spiritual growth. Daddy Wone's original message still resonates throughout the spirit of camp today. We uh, were established in 1919 as a boys camp and was very successful, so successful that their sisters wanted to come to camp. So in 1941 we established a girls camp. Today we remain boys camp in the first part of the summer and girls camp in the second part of the summer. Camp Manitowish has evolved to operate year-round through its summer camp, go. extended outpost wilderness trip for teens, and its leadership program, specializing in collaborative leadership development for school groups, colleges and universities, and youth serving agencies. All programs at Camp Manitowish focus on positive development for all participants. Three main programs at Camp Manitowish are the Outpost Program, the Summer Camp Program, and the Leadership Program. And those three programs uh, work closely with each other 12 months out of the year. For the, the summer camp program, the two and the four week sessions have 11 different program areas that people can participate in. Anywhere from sailing on the lake to music, to horseback riding, trail bikes, archery, riflery, tennis. Kids continue to challenge themselves in the different program areas. Um, they come back time after time and even year after year to build those skills. They uh, grow in the confidence if they shoot a target and hit the bullseye. Um, if they ride that horse for the first time and they've never ridden a horse before, they also have the ability to choose. So when they choose the different program areas they want to go to, they are building, um, they're building that ability to either choose to do something new that day or something that they want to challenge themselves on more individually. While kids are at camp, there's also a trail component that each kid goes on a wilderness trip. Uh, fifth through seventh graders will go out on a canoe trip, um, and as you get older, eighth graders get to choose between canoeing and backpacking, and ninth and tenth graders get to choose between sea kayaking, backpacking, and canoeing. So there's a progression when you come. When kids pack out for trail for the first time, they're not quite sure what to expect, they're not quite sure they know what kind of things they're supposed to bring out. Uh, the first time a kid gets on a horse, they're not quite sure what to expect. But after you watch them get back from trail, or after you watch them go through horses a couple times, or you watch them out and sail a couple times, they start to pick up these new skills. They start to pick up this confidence in themselves. Uh, they start to learn about different things in those areas that they may not have known before. All of a sudden, the confidence starts to grow. Wilderness tripping is, is where I believe that we achieve the greatest growth in our program. And whether it's someone that just went on a, a two-night trip for our summer camp program, or a five-day trip for one of our school leadership groups, or someone that just came back from a 45-day expeditionary level trip, they've all grown an incredible amount. They've all had one of their most challenging and best experiences of their lives, and they all go home a better person and a changed person. Our focus is on, on developing uh, collaborative leaders. So we talk about how individuals can, can learn what their strengths are, can amplify those strengths, and connect with other people in a group so that, that basically what the group becomes is, is greater than the sum of the parts. So we focus a lot on, on interaction styles, the styles that people have as they come into a group, and their challenges, their comfort zones, um, and then more than that, how they can, can look at the other people in their group 
and you know, having to be not just about themselves, but about how they can assist other people in uh, stepping out of their comfort zones, growing a little bit, and, and in turn, um, you know, seeing how that affects the entire group. So the group really grows as individuals grow. Lifelong memories, positive values, beautiful wilderness, a quality staff, and so much more. You'll grow in ways that will change your life, your home, and your community. It's all right here, waiting for you at Camp Manitowish YMCA.